Hello Minions, Wheezy here again. It's been a while since I did a sit and talk with you guys, so I want to uh, just kind of bring you back up to speed on, on where I am with things. Um, if you've been hanging around the channel or got notifications or something like that, then you've seen that I've been doing some live streams over the past few weeks. So even though I haven't been doing what I would consider the proper like produced content, I have been trying to at least not completely vanish off the face of the earth by uh, doing live streams. I've done quite a few. And uh, if you aren't following me on Discord, if you're not in my Discord server, uh, I'll try to remember to put a link down below. Um, or you can search on the channel for Discord, and you'll find my Discord. Or you can go to WheeziesGaming.com. That's an easy way to find you know, my Discord server and anything that you need to get access to. That's a good way if you guys want to get notified, because I put a message in there when I'm about to stream. Usually my streams are pretty impromptu, so I like... I don't like schedule them on YouTube ahead of time. I just kind of go and say, okay, I'm going to stream now. And uh, then it just pops up and starts streaming. So you could get notified by YouTube like that. Or if you're like me and you don't necessarily want YouTube notifications on bugging you all the time. Um, then if you have Discord, you can basically treat that like like uh, text messaging essentially. And so when, when I message on Discord or when people are talking on Discord, that's a good way to get in touch with me as well as to see when I'm going to be streaming or doing stuff like that. I also put, you know, little things in there like... Like I put a little behind the scenes screenshot of, of the video graphics that I'm working on for my FAL tactics video. I've got, I've got more videos to produce than I, you know, and I've got a lot of video captured, a lot of streaks and clips captured for different weapons for these tactics videos that I wanna do. And I haven't even released one yet and I've captured video for like five of them. So I've got the FAL, which is still probably gonna be my first video, even though going back and watching those clips because that was when I first started playing Modern Warfare, right when it, you know, shortly after it came out. And watching even this AK clip, which is from a couple, this AK video, which is from a couple weeks ago, and versus where I'm playing now, I've just kind of like gotten a lot more comfortable with the game and uh, the weapons and map movement and stuff like that. So I still plan on doing the FAL video first, but I may be going back and capturing some more clips with it. Um, anyway, it's neither here nor there because it doesn't really help you at all. Um, the, the, the weapons that I started working with, I did the FAL first, like I didn't want to go like easy mode out of the gate, so I haven't really sat down with a proper assault rifle. I say that as I'm watching, an, as you're watching an AK video, and you be like, well, AK is an assault rifle. It is, but it's also not super high rate of fire, pretty high recoil, like it's a little unpredictable, so it, many of you who have been playing Modern Warfare know that there are a few weapons that are kind of ruling the roost right now. Not in a way that's broken or super irritating. It, you know, nothing quite on the level of the Modern Warfare or the Call of Duty 4, like M16, ACOG M40. Although there are a couple things that are kind of close to that, including the one that I'm playing with right now, which is the MK2, which is a one-hit kill machine. And, and just to kind of get that out of the way, anything with a time to kill of zero really fucking bugs me in shooters, <laughs> right? Anything that is an, a one-hit kill that's relatively easy to use. I mean, we're not talking about like like mod, like Call of Duty 4, like sniper rifles where you have to hit, like, you use high zoom and you have to hit like upper chest or head. Like the MK2 and like some of the lower zoom scopes on like the KR-98 are just like kind of mid to upper chest and head instant kills and they fire pretty quickly and you can like... You'll see when I, put, when I put up some of these MK2 clips. It's a, I, was, I started to play with the MK2 because I really kind of wanted to prove to myself that the people using it actually had a bit more skill and that it didn't look as easy to use as it was like in the kill cams when you just always get hit, killed in one hit. And it just feels like, well, that's kind of bullshit. But you only see the ones that actually kill you in the kill cam, right? You don't see 50 misses. Um, but as I've been playing with it, no, they, it really is just kind of more... <laughs> A little fucking ridiculous, and I've had some people get kind of irritated with me, um, just because I can. You can string together four or five kills, just like, doof, 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 just it's a little nuts. Getting sidetracked. You'll see that I'm working on it. Point is, this is the kind of stuff I'm getting together. So I've done FAL. I've got videos captured for that. I'm working on producing that video. What did I do after that? The Odin, uh, and then which is a real, high, you know, high recoil, high rate of fire. Well, not high rate of fire, low rate of fire, high recoil assault rifle. <clears throat> then I did the MP5, which was 
I think the MP5 has become a lot more ubiquitous now than it was when I was messing around with it. Like the MP5, a lot of people are kind of treating like it's kind of easy mode. I don't necessarily agree with that. It's it, you know if you're a really rushing playstyle, um, and I'll address that in the tactics video. The MP5. Um, what was after the MP5? The H26, I believe, with the first LMG that I wanted to look that I kind of looked at. I've been trying to kind of stay away from those real mainstream weapons that everybody uses all the time, like the M4 and the Kilo 141 and you know, just those, the, the, I don't want to say easy to use, but they are kind of easy. It's a lot easier, it's a lot easier to use uh, an M4 than it is to use an FAL. I mean, that's just the way it is, right? So I'm trying to do these not just because I don't want to, like, go coasting on easy mode and using the same weapons. I'm trying to use weapons that are harder to use because I feel like there's some value in helping you guys if play well with weapons that are harder to use. If you can play... A match of Modern Warfare well with an M with a with a I mean M14 right with a with an FAL or with an AK or with something else that's a little harder to use then then you can pull out a 141 or an M4 and 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 it's easier right you can do kind of the same thing but you've got more flexibility because they work at at a variety of ranges <clears throat> some of these weapons you really have to be deliberate about how you use them the AK for instance in this video part of what I'm focusing on as I'm playing in addition to trying to, to do well I'm also focusing on trying to play tactically so I can share those tips with you I'm a lot more deliberate with the AK because it's a slower rate of fire and higher recoil so if you get come around a corner let's see, let's see something like this and you don't have if you haven't anticipated the location and you don't have the advantage in the fight and someone has an M4 then they can just spray you down. You have to be more tactical. You have to create an advantage for yourself because if you both turn the corner at the same time, I think I just hadoukened my microphone. If you both turn the corner at the same time, that high rate of fire, low cre recoil weapon, like, I don't know, 70, 80% of the time is gonna win, right? Especially if it's like an SMG um, with a high rate of fire and a lot more damage up close. It's just, so, that's kind of what I'm trying to, to work on bringing here. I'm also trying to make sure that I'm optimizing my workflow. I've got a lot of shit going on. <laughs> you know, life is really kind of busy. And so video production is a multi-hour process. And I just am struggling to find those multi-hours to do that. One of the things that was really advantageous about the way that I used to do things with live gameplay commentaries, playing with friends, is I capture those videos. If it was a good one or it was funny, like, interactions, great shots. Great shots, Weezy. Good job. Um... All I had to do was render it and upload it, right? And it was, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of post-production and stuff like that. The better produced videos, what I really want to put out, um, at least as far as being able to help you guys, it just takes it takes a lot more time to put together. I'm creating graphics, um, recording voiceover stuff, curating clips, trying to put them together, and I still haven't figured out a fast workflow for that. So the process is a little bit slower now. I understand I'm a perfectionist, so I'm trying to get past that and just kind of put something out, and I can kind of fire and correct as I go. Um, that's kind of where things are at right now, so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me go a little crazy with an AK, and uh, it'll be, uh, I'm excited to get more content out, like some produced content, but until then, go join the Discord server, pay attention to the YouTube channel, and check out the live streams that I've done. I think those are entertaining to watch as well. Um, just because I get out there and just play some stuff. You, that's a little bit behind the scenes for you guys as well, just kind of seeing how I capture gameplays and, you know, not just my, here's my best games ever, but here's how Wheezy kind of plays minute to minute. That video's ended. It dropped you back to the desktop. That's exciting and not at all embarrassing. Let me see if I can switch over to this. Ah, look at that. OBS allows me to act like I'm almost a professional at this stuff. So, um, yeah, I hope, uh, hope you guys are excited for more stuff because I'm trying to get stuff done and uh, stick around. I think I think I got some some momentum going here. So I'll talk to you guys later for realsies and come check out the live streams. All right, see you guys.